Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Hemisphere S631 UHF rover. So what I've done is I've created this base and rover project here, and I'm going to need to head to my select instrument menu on the left here. And within here, I'm gonna get my instrument profiles, and you can see that I've already set up a base profile, and if you wanna see how to do that, I'll just link to a video in the top right corner on where you can learn how to do that. But in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna create a new rover profile. So to do that, I'm going to hit add profile in the bottom right corner corner here. That's going to bring me to my new instrument profile. I need to make sure that I have GNSS rover selected in the top and that my make is selected as hemisphere and my model S631. I'm also going to give this a profile name of hemisphere S631 rover. And once that's named, I'm going to hit create in the bottom right corner and that's going to bring me to my GNSS rover profile. And here I'm going to need to first set up my communication. So within this menu here, I'm going to make sure my connection type is set to Bluetooth. And once I have that set, I'm gonna make sure that I hit search next to Bluetooth device, and that's gonna find all available Bluetooth devices. And within this menu, I chose 041 as my rover. So I'm gonna make sure I select that and then hit connect. That's gonna initialize my Bluetooth connection. And if all is gone successfully, the far right light on your receiver should turn on blue. And once that is finished connecting, I'm gonna be brought back to my instrument setup menu here. So the next thing I need to do is now head to my corrections option. So I need to make sure this matches my base. So while setting up your base, I would highly recommend taking stock of your radio settings just to make sure this part of the setup is easier. But in this case, I already know my settings from my base setup. And if you wanna know the optimal settings, you can check out the base setup video I linked to earlier. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that I have RTK via radio selected, and then I'm going to hit setup communication and make sure my device is UHF radio module and my device port is set to internal. Once those two things have been set, I can now hit radio settings here to get my exact radio settings of my rover. And once those settings load up here, I'm gonna make sure that I have protocol as Satel. I'm gonna make sure my channel set to 450 because that is what my base was set to. And I had my forward air correction enabled on my base, so I'm gonna make sure that that is enabled. So once I have those settings set, I'm gonna hit apply and it's going to program my radios. And once that's complete, I'm gonna be back at my communications menu here. And then I can hit done to set up my corrections menu here. So I got set up correction format. And if I click that, what I'm going to do is make sure that I just have my message type as auto detect. Uh, if you're working in a highly congested environment, you can set this message type to know exactly what the base is on. But 99% of the time, I would leave this on auto detect. So I'm gonna leave that as is and hit done here. I'm gonna hit start receiving in the bottom right corner and it's then going to program my receiver. And if all has gone successful and my radio settings are correct and my base has been set up correctly, the second light from the left on my receiver should start blinking once a second. So there's a couple other things I need to do here before I can start surveying and one of which is I need to set up my antenna height. So if I click this option, it's gonna bring me to my antenna height. I measured my rover antenna to 1.63 meters and I measured it on my height mark for my slant. So I measured that to the slant and as you can see from the picture up on screen here, you can see where you need to measure for your HI to the S631. But in this case, I know it's 1.63 meters to my slant height. So once I have that set, I'm gonna hit okay. And while this is setting up, I just want to mention it is very important to get your antenna height correct if you were using the Hemisphere S631's internal tilt sensor. If you're not bang on on that height, you can see some busts in your data because the tilt sensor is using the wrong information. So make sure you get that bang on. So once I have that set up, what I need to do is I need to set up my active tolerance here. And right now I have RTK fixed topo. And let's say I'm actually gonna be taking a control point when I wanna start surveying here. I'm gonna search, so I'm going to choose this RTK fixed control option and then hit okay here. That's gonna set up my active tolerance. For tilt correction, you can now set it up. You can enable it or disable it in this menu. In this case, I'm under a re-radiating kit so I can't really calibrate it. So I'm just going to disable it and hit okay. And then once that's done, I'm gonna hit done and my rover's set up and I can now start surveying. So if I go to my survey screen now, you can see that I have this wonderful map of the world and then I have an RTK fix solution in the bottom right corner. So if I click that, 
I can now start to take my average point. Since I had that control option selected, it's going to take an average of 30 points. If you want to learn how to change these tolerances, I'd suggest checking out our video on the subject. It should be coming out shortly. And that is everything for today's video. That is how you set up a UHF rover in Microsurveys Field Genius for Android. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.